Mr. Shabazz Samad, our Chairman and Managing Director, Ms. Fatma Shabazz, our Academic Director, Ms. Navadita Mukherjee, Academic Advisor to our school, Ms. Sonal Shavda, our Early Years Consultant and, and a Mentor, our Head of School, Dr. Ratna Ghosh, Parents, my dear colleagues and to all present here. It is so lovely to be here today. Let me begin today's presentation with a beautiful quote. Literacy unlocks the door to learning throughout life. So let me just, you know, throw some light on why is literacy important for our children. So developing linguistic skills at an early age is very important in a child's learning journey. So parents, as I always say, Language development and literacy is no doubt a critical part in the overall development of children. It supports the ability of children to communicate and express and understand feelings. Language is needed for all aspects in children's education in the classroom as they interact with their peers and teachers and, and in their life as they grow. Every subject has a language and it is important for students to comprehend the language for better understanding of the subject. So going ahead, every subject, as I say, had a language. So the National Education Policy 2020 emphasizes on development of numeracy and literacy skills. To enhance competency-based education for our young ones, literacy is the foundation for our young ones. So it is very important as reading and writing, communicating and socializing. We always believe in child-centric experiential learning that focuses on developing 21st century skills. Now, let me take it, let me take the presentation forward and brief you about what are the fundamental skills which we work on in our literacy program. The first and the primary skill is the listening and speaking skills. The development of speaking and listening skills helps students in solving problems, speculate and share ideas, make decisions, reflect on what is important. So having the right words to express their thoughts, to rationalize their ideas and talk about their feelings and viewpoints is very essential. Next is the reading and writing skills. So parents, more children read and write and the more they read and write, they broaden their vocabulary and will be able to articulate concepts learned accurately and more effectively to others. And last, is the comprehension skills. Comprehension refers to ability to understand written words. Comprehension adds meanings to what is being read. And thus, comprehension makes learning and reading enjoyable, fun, and informative. After the bridge course, uh, we started with a small goal setting activity in our class where we asked each one of them what is their goal in literacy? What would they like to learn by the end of the year? So, well, parents, we got some wonderful answers. As we all adults know that, uh, you know, goal setting is very important in children as it establishes a sense of purpose for their actions. This activity helps them with decision making, improve self-confidence and independence and teach perseverance alongside has countless other positive impacts. Today, we have our young Capstonians who are eagerly waiting to present their learning journey through literacy.
<laughs> so parents let's sit back and enjoy uh, so now i request shubhangi of grade 1 to take it forward from here thank you ma'am as a ma'am mentioned i am to make better today let me start by sharing more about our goal setting activity as you all can see my friend Mrs. will read a lot of stories and wants to become storyteller. And Mishka wants to learn new words so that she can read her favorite stories on her own. Actually, how do we learn at Captain High? We learn our book, poetry, and language grammar through the literacy daily five frameworks, which is listen to reading, read to self, read to someone, word, work, and work on writing. I will walk you through each of the segments in detail. The first component is listen to reading. In our class, men would play or tell stories. We had to close our eyes and listen to it. After the story gets over, she would ask questions. This, this was a lot of fun. We could not see anything but had to listen and imagine. Along with this, ma'am also read a story to us. This activity helped us in developing our listening skills. Now I request my friend Amish to take it forward from here. Thank you, Shubangi. You're right. Listening to audio stories are a lot of fun. Before I start, I would like to share a quote with you all. You can find magic wherever you look. Sit back and relax. All you need is a book by Dr. Hughes. So the next segment is Read to Self. During the Read to Self time, we are all very seated, silent, and we read to ourselves. Ma'am would post e-story books. Ma'am would send us to the breakout rooms where we all would read the Fitzora stories or the lesson. Let me share my favorite part in this. Ma'am would post e-story books, which I love to read. This independent reading activity helps us to stay attentive and focused. Then the third segment is read to someone. Sa time. We read during read to someone, time we read Fizoro stories to our friends. Sometimes we also took turns and read our favorite stories. Now let's watch a glimpse of it. Who are you? My name is Ben, said the dog. My name is Ben, said the pig. I told Tom to not 
the draw. And very sad, he will be sad too. Who can roll? Said Dan the dog. I can roll in the mud. Very well. Ribbon on his neck. Good. I told the not my bear. I can not find him. He is a very sad bear. The Thank you. Thank you, Abhish. Next part of our daily five is word work. The word work activities help us learn the keywords of our lessons and poems very easily. learn the keywords and understand its meaning, we use the new words and frame sentences of our own in our notebooks. Every week, we also have a spelling test for the keywords learned in all the subjects. Oh, this was a word wall game which ma'am made us play in the class. She also uploads a lot of these games which we all love to play. Now, let's see a short video of our word work sessions. Alright. A bunch of flowers. A bunch of bunch of keys. A bunch of, bunch of pencils and bunch of arrows. A bunch of a crayon. A bunch of she's making a tree. Learn, le, learning new words 
are not difficult. These activities not only help us learn and remember the new words, but we also learned how to use them in our writing and speaking. Let's go to the last segment of our daily fun. Work on writing. After we read our lessons and poems, we would do some writing activities too. This year, we were introduced to picture comprehension and passage comprehension. We also tried to write narr narratives on our own. After we all read the story or a lesson, we independently write the answers in our notebooks. Not only that, this year, after we read the fable, the fox and the grapes, we represent the story through pictures. Let me show you a glimpse of it. all about the daily five. Now I request my friend Anaisha to take us to the most exciting part of today's presentation. Thank you. Thank you others. This year we learned many grammar concepts like nouns, pronouns and articles. Sandrashi ma'am introduced these concepts through stories, songs, and activities. We also have quizzes. We play games too. As you can see, these games were, games were so much fun. Now, learning through play is super fun. Now, I request my friend Omar to take it forward. Thank you. Every week, ma'am would post an investigation activity for which I always look forward. These investigation activities were based on the things we learned or were going to learn. After we finished our first prose, my family then gave us an activity integrating it with the math concept numbers. We had to find out the names of our family members and count the number of letters each one of us had. Then find out who had the most number of letters and who had the least number of letters. We shared our observations during our investigation class. Let's see a video of it. Topic was number I explored with my mother. My father's name is Sadiki Pani Kumar. It has 16 letters. My mother's name is Sadiki Tomia. It has 12 letters. My brother's name is Sadiki Sundar Sharma. It 
has 19 letters. My name is Karthi Kanthi Sharma. It has 22 letters. His name has most number of letters. Karthi Sonia has least number of letters. Grandfather's name is Yemapa. My grandmother's name is Shishikala. My uncle name is Chetan. My auntie name is Tamyashti. My papa name is Ramoth. My mama name is Chaitra. Family members are Priyanka. Priyanka uh, is eight letters. My Nagraj Papa uh, number is eight. My my letter is six. My Akash five. Shoba six. My pet name is Nita Singh of Tati. The heart number is my father. The school portion is my mother. Father Sam 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 is me. Abu Sam Sam is my grandfather. So Bhadra Sam is my grandmother. Then the father has maximum letters. He has seventeen letters. And my that is so nice, isn't it? Now I request my friend Ahan to take it forward. Thank you, Omar. So, parents, as my friend Omar just mentioned, we not only did an investigation activity, but we created our own story using the characters from the lesson. We gave our own title to it. As you can see, the name of the story was Happy Family. In our story, all the family members decided to go on a picnic to the beach. After we created the story, we decided to enact it. During the root play session, we all, we all chose the character which we like to play. Here is a glimpse of it. Come, let's watch. I'm Father Edward. I'm Baby Bob. I'm the baby of the family. Bob, now I'm six years old. My name is Amber. I am grandmother. Hi, friends. It's a Beautiful day. I have got my sun toys. Let's go to the beach and make some sun castles. Let's go on a picnic. Yes. I'll, I'll buy, i take water and some vegetables and some toasted bread to eat. Big um, sand castle and add some decorations to it. And then go to the beach. In less luggage for the trip. Uncle Yusuf, go slow. I like the role play activity the most. For some of the concepts we learned, we have class show and tell activities. 
these activities help us to become more confident in speaking For some of the concepts, this year we were introduced to poetry. We not only learned the poems days of the month, but ma'am also taught us what were acrostic poems. We all wrote an acrostic poem for our name in the breakout rooms and shared it with each other. Here is a short video. Come, let's watch and enjoy. S for super, U for understanding, M for magical, A for amazing, and for noble, P for talented, S for handsome. Super Apple Ink Snack Air Fat Action Manager Air Edge Speak It is a certain deal It is sometimes interesting It is sometimes sweet It is sometimes heartless It is sometimes angry Sometimes the king is a victory. Um, intelligent. A for A for amazing. S for magnetic. I for Indian. S for S for sporty. S for S for helpful. That was so wonderful. Now I request my friend Omar to take it forward. Thank you. Thank you, Ahan. We are introduced to many types of stories like narratives, fables, and fairy tales. We learn their characteristics. Once Ma'am displayed the picture, which you can see on the screen, we were wondering what it is. We got to know it was called a Venn diagram. It was fun to classify the similarities and differences between a fable and a fairy tale. As you can see in the picture, we discussed the special characteristics of fables and fairy tales. For example, my friend Arha and Swastik said the names of the stories were different. And Karthik says that fables are moral stories. Shubhangi says fairy tales have fairies in them. We discuss the similarities too. My friend, my friend Lakesh says that says both fables and fairy tales have imaginary characters. Through this activity. We learn to compare and contrast two or more things and also help in developing 
critical thinking. Next, to make our language grammar classes more fun, I would sometimes ask us to be teachers and we talk the concepts. It's so much fun. Let's be put to a classroom now where you can see where you can see me and my friends pretending to be teachers and teaching. What is a noun? Noun is a naming word like person, for example, Amish and Amishi. Tell me the person's name. What? Um, um, any city. Going to tell about singular plural. One. Plural means many. Yes, I understood. It's in my hand. There are Ram. nouns and pronouns. He is Ram. Now Ram is noun. He is pronoun. Show it on. She is she is moksha. Moksha is round. Hi children, my name is Jamie. Today I'm going to teach you about vowels and consonants. The vowels are A E I O U. The remaining are Consonant. The consonant is B, E, 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 E
Mood in front of continent town. The example of that. And it was good afternoon, ma'am. It is used for a girl or a woman. Good afternoon, everyone. My name, I am your teacher, Shubham. Let's start our class. Today we will learn about now to run. Singular flower names. Yes. I share my screen. Oh, one second. Can I see it? Yes, it is starting now. Yes, it is starting. Now, now we can see it big. Now we can see it. Good morning, my name is David. Today, today I am going to talk about nouns. Now is a naming word. It can it can be a person, place, animal, or anything. Noun and pronoun. My name is Nathan. I'm six years old. We always look forward. To the Sakuti. Now I request Miss Chandrashi to take it forward and share her teaching and learning experiences. Thank you. Thank you, dear Omar. So, parents, it was a visual treat, isn't it? As you all have seen our students' uh, uh, journey through literacy, we always try uh, and focus on making classes fun and engaging to offer a long-lasting learning experiences. Literacy, in short, is being able to read and write, means being able to keep up the current events, communicate effectively, and understand the issues that are happy happening around the world, which is much needed. In this 21st century, we used various strategies like flipped classroom, role play sessions, show and tell activities to make learning more effective. These methods helped us deliver an effective lesson and also encouraged our students to explore and imagine, developing communication skills, collaboration and creativity as our students are given the opportunity to share their individual thoughts and perspectives. Well, my dear grade one children, you all have indeed made us proud today with your confidence and collaboratively working with your peers to come up with a spectacular event. So um, please mark your calendars for the upcoming events, parents. The yearly calendar has been shared in the Google Classroom in the beginning of the year, so you can check this there too. But we would like to remind you again to kindly save these upcoming dates so of the events happening at Capstone High. So we are eagerly waiting for our next uh, event, which is Cap Sci-Fi, which is scheduled on November 20th. I would like to take this opportunity to once again thank all parents, school management, and teachers for their contribution in ensuring our little ones learning continues even during these challenging times. It is indeed a partnership between parents and the school. Parents, a heartfelt thanks for your constant support and partnership at all times for an effective learning journey of our children and for any concerns or feedbacks. So kindly contact us uh, using the given mail ID, which is displayed on the screen. We are happy to meet you and help you with prayer appointments. So that brings us to the end of the show. Hope you all had an enjoyable experience of being a witness to the wonderful learning journey presented by our little first graders. Now, uh, I request our head of school, Dr. Ratna Ghosh, uh, to kindly share a few thoughts. Thank you, Ms. Chandrashree. Good morning, dear parents and all present here today. Our students have shared with you all today their journey through literacy 
over the last three months so eloquently. I'm so proud of you students. We could see how our teachers have helped them to take firm and confident steps to build up the essential skill of communication, spoken and written. Beyond the functional level, literacy plays a vital role in transforming students into socially engaged citizens. Being able to read and write means being able to keep up with the current events, communicate effectively and understand the issues that are shaping the world as Ms. Chandrashi just now mentioned. Literacy development should be a combined effect between home and school. And I'm sure you all parents are with us in our journey with our students. Reading is the first pillar of literacy and so we encourage young learners to immerse themselves in it frequently and deeply. This should involve exposure to broad variety of different genres such as newspaper, novels, comics, magazines, films, reference material and websites. Actively discussing what has been read encourages learners to make connections and think deeply about the ideas contained in texts. Follow up the reading or viewing of a text with discussions of what it made learners think and feel. Use games and activities that support their literacy development. Make use of the library. Library is more than books. Immersing children in huge range of text encourages them to dive in and explore about life. There's no better place to do this than the school or community library. I'm happy to announce that our school library is now open for students. Please make an appointment with our admin team and we will be happy to issue books to our students to develop their reading skills between 3.30 and 4.30 p.m. Um, make an appointment, come visit us and we will be happy to issue the books to our students. We will be sharing with you also a reading journal soon which will help you monitor your child's reading progress. Till then, happy reading with our students. And uh, if, as Ms. Chandrashi mentioned, if you have any query concerns regarding any issue with your child, please feel free to get back to us. Thank you. Uh, kindly post any question that you may have in your mind so that we can respond to it here and now. Ms. Sanju, do we have any question? Ms. Chandrashi, there seems to be no question. Yes, we get an appreciation from Mr. Krishnamurti. Wonderful. Thank you, sir. We are there with you always in our students' learning journey. Parents, please feel free to get back to us at any point in time with prior appointment so that we can respond to your child's needs. Thank you once again for being a part of this learning journey with us.